Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. It's 8.02 p.m. I got up at 2.47 today, and uh, the only thing I've done is gone over to Best Buy, help my mom look for Christmas presents for my grandmother, and watch a lot of YouTube videos. I have a lot of time yesterday to uh, catch up on my massive collection of videos that I needed to watch, and I said I was going to last night, and I did. I did a lot last night. Um, but I still had about 38 of them today, with the average length probably around uh, 10 minutes. So that's a long time. I'm out here now, and uh, I need to run over to Lowe's. On the internet, there's a guy named, I think it's Brooke Van Norman or something like that, and he has the M5 Video Guide. And I had seen this before, it's like the complete buyer's guide, problems inside, problems outside, how to keep it up. Anything having to do with the car, he's covered. And that had always interested me. And I remember looking at it way back when I first got the car, and I determined that it was very expensive and I could figure things out on my own. So I came across some of his videos today, and uh, the subscription membership is $60 for a lifetime. You get all the updates that he does, and anything that he has to say about the car. He also has an E60 guide, but I think he has more with the E39, which is the 5 Series from like 96 to 03. So anyways, he had a video posted on his site, I think it's just m5videoguide.com, about how to um, clean up and redo the exhaust tips and stuff. And mine aren't too bad, but as you can see, I've got a significant carbon problem. And I, I don't really blame that to the tips, it's just the engine that blows carbon everywhere. But uh, he went over how to decarbon the inside of the exhaust pipes, um, buy a product made in Germany to polish the metal on the exterior. They're solid stainless steel. Um, this was the first BMW to ever be solid stainless steel and be quad tipped. This is the first V8 M car. So uh, pretty much you need a drill and a wire uh, bit on the end, wire brush bit on the end. I have a drill, but I am gonna go, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go over to Lowe's now and buy the bit. It can't be very expensive. I haven't really been out all day, at least not on my own. And it's a lovely night here in Ohio. It is actually rather warm. It's about 48 degrees for early December. And the temperature is uh, in here. Well, here a little. So I'm gonna run over to Lowe's now and uh, see if I can find that bit. It is 51 degrees here in the garage. Ding, ding, ding. So I'm gonna go over, find that bit, and I don't think I'm gonna do it tonight because I don't have to buy that product online since it's German. Uh, but we'll see, maybe we can decarbon them tonight or something, we, I don't know. And as you can see, my headlights are working. They're pointed all the way up there on that guy's house. So when they point up like that, that means it works. Um, it probably won't work when I get over to Lowe's and turn it on again, but I'm gonna have that fixed. I told you I ordered that part. Why is that light on back there? Oh, I did leave that on. All right, I'll talk to you at Lowe's. Well, we made it over here to Lowe's, so I'll run in, see if I can find that bit, and we'll be out in like five minutes. Friggin' hell. Well, they closed at eight o'clock, which was 20 minutes ago tonight. They're usually open till 10, but some special December hours because they're redoing part of the store, so they're closing earlier to give workers more time. So I'm gonna run over to Walmart. Luckily, <laughs> it's right next door, and I'm sure they'll have it too. And if y'all know anything about Walmart, they are always open. Even on Thanksgiving, had to go in and buy some bows. All right, Walmart selection looked like it was really picked over, so I got a pretty small brush. It was only two bucks, so we'll have to see how that works tonight. Well, I think I'll give it a shot tonight anyways. Well, somebody thinks he had a chance. All right, 9.30. It has started to rain a little bit. It's down to 42 degrees, but it's not too bad. I've been out here for maybe 15 minutes working on this. And uh, well, over at Walmart, I don't think I filmed in there. There were a lot of people and it just would have been awkward. But uh, I got to the power tool, the hand slash power tool area, and they really didn't have much in the way of Dremel, the uh, wired cleaning stainless brushes here. So the one I got is really small. It was only two bucks. And I figured, well, I'll just test it with this. We'll see if this is actually gonna work because I mean, th these, are, these tips have probably never been cleaned on here. And uh, it is working, however, I'm gonna go over to Lowe's tomorrow, probably after school, and I'm gonna get the right brush. It'll be bigger and more money, but what do you expect? So after 20 minutes, you can see the difference here. The one on the left is the still carbon caked tip. They're a little warm. Um, well, usually I get more than that, but if I stick <laughs> one of these in here, and I just wipe it halfway around, you'll see that I just get black. Just black, just ruined. So here's, um, the, the experiment, experiment, the, the work that the guy told me to do, or told his members to do, was to use this, WD-40. It's not oil, it's water displacement. 
They suggested that you spray this in there, hit it with a Dremel, clean it out. Spray this in there, hit it with that, clean it out, do that until it is this finish everywhere, which is really smooth, beautiful, solid, stainless. Uh, so you can see in there, the thing that I bought wouldn't let me go more than an inch or two in there, and I didn't really do the top yet, but I got that bottom piece done, so it is going to work. I just need the right tools, which I'll get tomorrow. But you can already see the difference in what that's going to look like, and it's going to be quite the mess, but I didn't really get my hands too dirty doing it, so that's good. But um, we'll run over to Lowe's tomorrow, get the right pieces, and we'll at least get this side done. It does seem to be pretty time consuming, but it's going to make a nice difference. And I'm hoping this in here seems to be more abrasive, so I, j I just think that a better um, tool will be able to get the entire finish to be like that, which is just silky smooth, even smoother than, well, just as smooth as the outside, which right now is filthy. But these are going to look real nice when I get this done. All right, well, I just sat down for like an hour and did homework. Trig. It was fun. It's 11.40 now. So I'm going to go catch up on some Family Guy. I'm on season six now. Finish some YouTube videos and uh, then go to bed. Looking forward to a very productive week, at least with my tailpipes in the car. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, guys.